Welcome everyone to this application inside uh, code instrumentation demo. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use ASP.NET Core web application and add the application inside uh, code inject part into your application. Now application insight is an Azure service which allows you to capture log both in a codeless fashion and with code. Now, our focus is to see how we can use the SDK from ASP.NET Core application. Now to show you this application inside uses an instrumentation key which is mentioned under the connection string of the overview page. So if you copy the instrumentation key, there'll be a GUID which will get copied to your clipboard. And then you use that GUID to connect the SDK to push data to this application inside, right? So you may be using a different application inside than your application code. So for example, in my scenario, I'm running an ASP.NET Core application in my local machine, which can push the log to this Azure application inside. I don't need to run, run this application in Azure or in the cloud. I can keep running it on premises and then still can capture the log. Let's see how that can happen. So I've got an application created that's a fairly simple, basic ASP.NET Core application. Just reuse .NET Core new MVC and I created this MVC application. Now, a few things I needed and I did that. One is I, I added the configuration service and added this add application insights telemetry middleware. And then if you see over the top of this, there is a controller, right? And because it uses dependency injection, so I needed to refer this Microsoft application insight library into this controller and then use this private variable called telemetry client that's the class and initialize my home controller constructor with this telemetry client and assign this value over here so that's what i did so that has happened seamless and then one thing i also did on the view page if you look into this shared view and the layered option i added this small thing just to capture the log over here, that's all. Now you can also add your own application code, for example, in the home controller, under the index, you can see that telemetry event, home page requested is getting uh, pushed into my application inside. So you can actually use this telemetry object and say that X error, and send the error message if you want to send in. If you have warning, you send the warning. So, so on and so forth. So there are various different kinds of application uh, error or code or an event or a message you want to send, you can send through this telemetry client or class. So to view more, you can refer the documentation and see what all you can do with that. So let's try to run this um, application over here. So I have got this uh, .NET Core application, so I can just do a .NET build to check if everything is fine. Now, if the build is successful, now I should be able to run it in my local machine. It shows that build is succeeded. I'm sorry for that light in color, but there is no error we can clearly see. Now I say .NET run. Now this will run the application. Now one thing I can do, I can open a browser and keep hitting a specific URL and that will basically generate the log. Uh, and the URL would be localhost 500. Instead of that, what I thought of doing is that I thought of um, having a PowerShell script, okay, very simple PowerShell script, which uses this URL, okay, and does run in every one second for 6,000 times. So you can just reduce it. I just used it. So you can see that I, I call the request.get. That's basically to reach out to this URL 
with some specific error information you can omit that that's not mandatory and then i sleep for one second and then i also try to do a fail request uh, pass on some random value at part of the url which is not a right url and i sleep for one uh, second and then i print the value of i in the console so if you need to run this if i go into new terminal and if i go ahead and see that terminal and then if i say pi test then it's gonna go ahead and kick start reaching out to this url and if the url is working because i'm also running the app asp.net application in my local machine so you can see that it is running you need to keep this running because otherwise this url will not be reachable so that means the code is now getting pushed now let's see how that really looks like in your application inside dashboard perspective now if you come to this dashboard there is something called live metrics now live metrics can give you the details about what is happening live with your existing application now that's the reason i wrote this uh, little script so that in every second i get some data otherwise i always have to keep a browser open and f5 again and again so instead of that just let's automate that experience so you can see that i'm getting two kind of thing one is 404 error that's intentional and one is something which has happened and in that event it is basically printing my message right so you can see that home page requested that's a message i have entered right from the code and the error is obviously the error because there is a problem with the url so that it's not correct url so that was intentional so if you go into this failed request that's a failure it'll tell you exactly what it is trying to do so if you go a little down you see that these are the slash six slash one slash nine so these are the url i wanted to reach out to and because this page doesn't exist so it shows a 404 error right so you go a bit deeper into that uh, detail um, for how long it went and all these things so you can drill down with this information and in fact if you go back to the live metrics you will be able to see the the thing getting piled up again more and more because in every second there is an error right so you can see that even it shows you the request duration um, and then the failure rates um, incoming requests so mostly the flat because uh, it's happening every one second but this is happening at this point in time mainly because i am running this powershell uh, script which is basically pushing this now if the moment i stop this powershell i delete this powershell script stopped right i go back to my dashboard view of the application inside and you will find that it is now becoming kind of stable so which means that there is no near log which is coming into this application inside anymore because uh, the application is not being used though the application is still running it might send some information uh, depending on the runtime etc but the specific error and the page load which was very busy at one given point in time is kind of flattened right so you don't see any more activity in these two areas but other areas you might find some value still getting pushed because the application is still running now for example i close this application say control c and it's gonna go ahead and stop the application itself so there is no uh, connection now you see that even the graph of the of the cpu total etc is getting flat right because now the whole application is shut down so there is no activity at all at the application level so you understand that just by adding the instrumentation key to your application and initializing the application inside middleware from your asp.net core you are able to send some basic information however from inside your code from the controller or anywhere you want to send some specific information about the code line about an exception about the time it takes so whatsoever you want to send you can send them 
through the custom coding that is the SDK usage. So you can use this application inside uh, for um, capturing a lot more information than what you get by default. So for that, SDK is important for us to explore. So with this, I want to end here and thank you very much for watching.